What's going on guys? Welcome back today to a brand new video. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a like a Pokemon opening and some card opening today. But I thought I'd first show off by showing off this package that I did get in the mail. So I'll just cut this open right now for you and just show you guys what I have ordered that was in order. I'm gonna trust my mic right here. Actually I'm gonna have to open this off camera real quick. Just in case it shows some info. That out. Well, that's much better. That is much better. Alright, so some bubble things. Okay. There goes the box. I still can't show on camera yet because I don't know what else. Oh, get that out of here. Still don't know. Might be anything personal. So I'll just cut this right along here. Perfect. Alright, let get this open. Hmm. Well, that's odd. Well, I think I'm now safe to show it on camera. It's barely gonna fit. But if you guys can tell by this logo, these are the brand new Adidas Yu-Gi-Oh collab. The ADI 2000s. So I will. I can't show the size because like there's stuff on there label. They are size 12. Let's just let's give them a quick show off. Why not? Maybe we can do that real quick. There's where the thing is. Okay, so I already did off stock X. So usually it'll come with like a little flip, a little paper. This one came on the inside of like the box because like you can open like the box. So. Get that out. I don't know how to like show the shoes from like an upward angle. This would be weird. So I'll just try and like just to show. There are the shoes. I'm not gonna like take them out and like show everything, but because you guys have probably seen these already online, but those are the nice little shoes. There are like Yu-Gi-Oh imprints on about like the inside of it. But the main reason why these shoes exist is for the main thing that these shoes come with. Which is the special edition Dark Magician. Put it on now. Get that out. Okay, let me close these back up, put these back in the box. There is a story I will tell once I get this out of the way. I'll get this out of the way actually real quick. Because I don't want this just taking a broom, so we'll put that. To the side. I am very excited about those, but that is not the point of this video. Here it is, the Dark Magician ADC1 promo. But actually, I think if I get a good light angle, you can see right there, there is an Adidas logo actually on the card. Another thing that's special about these shoes is that I have two of these promos. I had bought two pairs. One of them was a size 11 and did not fit me properly. So, in retrospect, I bought another pair of a size 12. Yes, I did pay over what they are worth on my, on Adidas website, but it is worth having the shoes because they are really nice. So, I got two of them now, so that's good. It's always nice to have two in the collection. One maybe to show up in the binder, one to keep sealed. I love my sealed promos. And these are expensive. But that was a quick thing I guess we could do for the unboxing. Now, actually, we'll need this in my bag. Let's get to the actual unboxing. Let's get a crancy DTB and show off something else and get some more packs. Just do this. So I got this and I'll get like a couple more packs out from something else. And I'll show that off later. So that's what the first thing I just wanted to show off because I just think. I just. Oh. Are we good? Are we good? I think we're slightly good. I think I might have just showed like light. I'm sorry. I really gotta up this camera stand to make it a lot more like even. But let's kind of the TV. Probably showed off some sun or some of the lighting. Oh, let me get the packs out. These. I think we got two more in here. Two more. One more. One more pack. There should be ten. Two, four, six. Eight, ten. Got ten packs of Crown Zenith. 
the Lucaro promo. Not as nice as the Dark Magician. And ETB code. But not only do we have the ETB code card, I've got a couple other code cards for you of products that open off camera. So here's a couple of them. Here's a Flareon Big Nice Premium Collection, a, a Jolteon one, and a Celebrations Charizard box, as well as a Regilek EV box. Open these off camera. Did not open the packs, so I do not have any pulls to report. But let's just get in to these packs right here. And Venus, still one of my favorite sets. Of modern time Pokemon. Because you cannot beat those, just the, the Glare and Gallery artworks, you can't beat them. So we're going to do this. I'm going to start opening packs a different way, like how I usually open them like off camera when I'm doing it. I'll look for like something to show. I'll still do like the card trick and stuff. Maybe I might actually not have time to because I might have to go a little faster in this opening. Because we, we do have a good amount of packs. We have like 10 packs in this plus a couple of extra of what I'm going to grab. For the reverse, I'll steal energy. I actually do need that one and ball lesson. I'm pretty sure I actually need the steal energy, so I'll put that one to the side. But that's what you should do. I'll usually look if there's like coloring on the side, and then I'll be like, oh, okay, okay. We'll wait till the end. Especially when I do it with Evolving Skies, you see that full art V or like a V Max glow. You're like, come on, let it be the Embryon. So let's do this time. Okay, so that usually means you have a hollow, but I think we should have to go slower through these. But like not do a card check, coughing. We do because we do have a good amount of packs to go. So end it. The Mew character rare. I've only ever pulled this once and it's been off camera. But now we got one pulled on camera. Look at that card. I love all like the Pokemon in the background. Like you got Cutie Fly, Rookie D Crammer, Ponyta, Galarian Ponyta, the Nidorans, Bear Scooter. So like he's also near a river. That's nice. No. <laughs> Oh my god, that's probably one of the best double packs you could get. This is one of the most expensive, like, non-full art character rares. It's like 15 bucks, I think. And we got another $30 secret rare Pikachu. This is like my fifth one of those I've pulled. Why? Also, guys, when this video goes up, I already know. I have hit, we have officially hit 50 subscribers on this channel, so I just want to say to all of you, thank you guys so much for that. But this is not the 50 subscriber opening. I will be doing a more diverse one with Yu-Gi-Oh too, because I've got no Yu-Gi-Oh packs for this video. I haven't had many, haven't had many much luck trying to find some single packs in the wild. I do have a couple of tactical masses in this box because that's my Yu-Gi-Oh box because it's red, red I like for Yu-Gi-Oh. Wow. I mean I don't know. We popped the phone case out for the Pikachu. I don't think we can because we have pulled them a lot. So we'll put them aside though. So we don't pop the phone case out for the Pikachu, but we will pop, pop a, give him a clappity right there. I thought that was a hollow. I didn't see the texture close enough. Wow, nicely done. I've got a couple of those saved up for Collecticon now here, coming here in Orlando on February 12th. I will be down there. I'm excited for that. I love going down to conventions. They're probably my favorite thing to do. I just love the feeling of you like just, it's like a big Walmart where you could find anything you need. Wooloo? Luxie, I think this might be the one. It's either this one or the fierce one that I need. I don't know. We'll put them to the side. And another Blossom awesome Mount Hollow. Okay, then. Soul Rock, Red Candy, and the Luxio. Wow. Well, the Secret Red Pikachu in any ETB. Honestly, when you pull it in any ETB, it's always a good ETB then. I don't really think you could top an ETB once you pull the Secret Red Pikachu. Well, obviously, you can top an ETB, but once you get one, that guarantees... Is that a gold V star? It's a V. It's a V star. I don't think it's gold. One, two, three, four. Just want those two. We got a V star. That's why I went quiet. We got a V star. Okay, wait, wait, wait. This could be a god box if we get the Mew too. Oh, is that a is that a hollow? The absolute hollow. I need this one too. Come on. Ooh, okay, that was a delayed reaction, but I'll take a Dark Rare V-Star. This is like one of the more expensive ones. It's like a $30 one. I do have it because I pulled it in a V-Box, but I will take that and an Absolute Hall. That was a, this is a really good box. Oh my God. And since it's early, we might have a chance to pull in another one. Maybe not a V-Star, but a V. If you guys don't know, I'm looking for that Mewtwo V-Star. That, I was, it's going up too. It's going up in price. It's like a hundred bucks now. We'll put them in. So that'll be, 
And while slaving the hollows, because as you all know, I'm going for a complete set, I do need every hollow. And this is one I need, and I slave the hollows. So we'll save a hollow. We'll put it aside that warrior over here, where there's friends. Whew. We're only halfway through. And we've gotten ourselves not only a secret rare Pikachu, but a full art character rare Darkrai. Nicely done. Got Pancham, Snowrunt, Ponyard, Tangela, Baltoy. Zoro Reverse, I need the hollow of this, not the reverse. Got Volcarona, not hollow. That is all we in this pack. Anything else? We got Steel Energy, Rare Candy, Luxio. That's the one that's like the fierce one, I call it, and the Electric. I call that one the fierce artwork because I feel like it's not like, as cute as like the other one is. So I'm always wondering if which reverse I need because I, I don't like what Pokemon does look like that in a set. Where well, they'll make like two different arts of a Pokemon. And then you gotta always be like, wait, do I got that one? Do I have that one? It's just a little bit more confusing for me. Got Salandit, got Poraloin, got Grubbin, got the Ditto. Can't ever go wrong with the Ditto. And the Zacian Hollow. Do they have the Zacian? But hey, still wasn't a bad pack. Whenever you get a Hollow, even like in a pack with like special sets, you're just like, okay. I'm looking for some Vs of Zacian and Zamazenta and the V Stars. I need both of them. I need a bunch of... I don't have any Charizards from this set. Like, the Charizard V and V-Star, I don't have either one of them. Got a Ditto character. We're doing good on this box. Only four hits, but... Honestly, you can't blame for, like, the hits that they are. It's a full-out Pikachu, the full-out Darkrai V-Star. Okay, so that means we have a Hollow and a character. Scrub? Is that Hollow? Maybe not. I mean, not a character. Uh, like, Hollow in Reverse. Or, you know, we can just get a Radiant. I'll take a Radiant Charger Bug easily. And... Yo, let's go. We got the full art dark energy and the dark energy. We're normal. Nice. That was another good pack. I need that. I need that full art energy too. Nice. This ETB stacked. Not even lying. And technically, that was a double full art pack because these both have texture. So these both count as full arts. Nice. I'm. I am still wondering how I haven't pulled any full art trainers from the normal trainer, like set. Like, I need the full art Eliza. I haven't seen it. Nice. The full art energy and the radiant charge. Let's get another one more down. There we go. Put those two over here. We got character rares, normals, and really good. Obviously, the dark energy is good because I need it in the set, but it's not like one of the more valuable ones. Okay, we got a V Star marker. I see that in the back. Got a Cricket Tut, a Chia Tut, a Mr. Mine, a Sun Kern. Reverse Lightning Energy, I think I might already have this one, but I'll put them to the side for now. And a rare Executor. And then the V-Star Marker. Good card. Last two packs of Crown Zenith, then we go into the special pack that I have set to the side. Let's see if we can get another character rare for it. Alright. Oh. No. Sun Con. Coughing. The Doof, my camera keeps unfocusing. So I end it. Purloin. Love Disc Reverse, might actually need that one. And yeah, Mega. I think I need the Cynthia's Ambition full art and the Eliza Sparkle full art for the normal set. I think those are my last two full art trainers for the full set. For like the normal set. Because all the rest of the full art trainers I end up probably just like buying and stuff. I've already bought previously. Alright, so we did only get one full art V Star. But usually that art, like one full art like character rate is like the ratio per box. But to get a Mew also being the best normal character is pretty good. Ooh, I thought that was a Pikachu. The Pikachu is like a $10 one, but I'll take the Mareep and I like it back. All right. Oh wait, lost vacuum, I tried an Ultra Ball. Code card. Wow, that was actually a really good ETB. What do we get? Two, four, six, seven hits, nice. That's actually a pretty good ETB. But now let's move on to the little special thing I have set aside. So this empty Crown Zenith ETB, I actually put as my pack stash. So these are all a bunch of Sword and Shield era sets. We got some, like let's pull out from the back. We got Sword and Shield base. We got Rebel Clash before that. We got some Fusion Strikes. I think 15 packs of Evo Skies. We will save those for later. Some Crown Zenith in there, obviously. Chilling Rain. But what we're going to be opening out of here is these guys right here. We'll save the rest for another video. We've got four packs of celebrations. I thought we could do four packs. We're doing a special set right here. Let's see if we can get luck from another special set. Let's go. Got four of these. 
If we pulled a golden mule, honestly, that's gonna be insane. Still being one of the most popular gold cards probably in the world is that golden mule. Let's go. We got Groudon, Cosmoam, Rusharam, and the Mew. Not the Mew we're looking for though, but it is a Mew. So these will go by faster because these are only four card packs. But I really like this set, even to this day. When it first came out, I also loved it. I thought the ports were good. The set was nice. I liked the cards they chose. Got a Hoa, got a Palkia. Ooh, we got something in that one. See what we got in the back. Got the starting Pikachu VMAX, nice. Our oh, boy. Oh, and we got the house plan and stuff. We got the Venus. So I do it slowly because if I see even red, that's instantly a Charizard because there's no other normal red ones in the set. But nice. A classic collection. Venus always about to stay radiant. Nice. These cards obviously aren't as expensive as they were like when they first came out. Like the blast is like 40 bucks. Now it's like seven, I think. Maybe even like five. But it's still a fun set to open. Obviously, though, if you're looking for value, if you look value, if you're looking for value, we'll put this in the character rest section. Technically, a character. If you're looking for value, this set might not be the best way to go because the Charizard and the Glue Mew are the only two cards that you need that have value. But if you just want like some fun and like some nostalgia, if you used to play like back in the day and back in the day, this set's definitely for you. The Hello, and another Mew, but not the Mew we need. I haven't pulled the Glue Mew actually in a while. Been a hot minute. It was like it was the last card I needed from the set for a while too, and we refused to buy it. We wanted to pull it. Eventually, we bought two like collector chests from a flea market, and my dad pulled one. Then I pulled one. So how ironic! You need one card left, and of course you pull two of them. Lugia, Rashiram. Ooh, ending on at least a possible Zard. Got Sogaleo. Code card. And we got. The Blastoise. Oh, if we could have pulled the Charizard, that would have been good. Because this is all out of one. Oh, this is out of a Lance's Charizard box. So technically, we kind of pulled them. We got the Venusaur, the Blastoise, and the Charizard promo. But that was not a bad box. Definitely got to take the two two boys. Two boys right there. Oh, yeah. Also, the Gold gold Star Umbreon and Shiny Magic card. Do we need one more pack? We'll end one more pack. We'll do... We'll show you you give some due, due diligence. I have six of these, so let's make it five. We got one pack of tactical masters. Let's just throw it in there. Why not? We'll just do this. Do one, two. See if we can just get lucky. One pack magic. Who knows? Got Imperial Iron Wall. Cosmic Cyclone. Pendulum Fusion. These are off center. That's nice. Runic Dispelling. And Valence World. Oh, so nothing out of one pack magic scapegoats. And trap trick. So now I don't want to pack. So uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Maybe one day we'll actually get something. But that will be it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments though. What do you, th I want to actually know. What do you guys think of these Adidas promos? What do you think of these? Like, do you think these are nice? Do you think they could have probably, like a, they should make like a new art? Or do you like that the prism, or do you like the prismatic look for the OG Dark Magician? I personally think it's pretty cool. But let me know down in the comments. But that'll be it. I will see you on the next one. Peace.